guys, this is Dr. Steve Ambrose and welcome to today's short take. Treatment and experience. We've heard it so much for patients, but what about the treatment and experience of doctors and nurses? And I'm talking about incivility and the lack of inclusion within organizational culture that we're seeing in health systems, hospitals, and other facilities that employ care teams. I want to start by unpacking some statistics. In a survey of nearly 3,800 registered nurses, almost half report being bullied in some way, either by a peer or someone in authority over them. And in a survey of nearly 5,000 nurses, physicians, pharmacists, and healthcare management professionals, 77% noted a reluctance or refusal to return calls. 68% were the recipients of condescending language and 26% of nurses reported having an object thrown at them. Now look, there's certainly strong work cultures in healthcare today, but there's a lot of mediocre and bad ones as well. Workplace culture, that is the treatment of employees by their peers and others who are in authority, definitely impacts quality of care, patient safety, and employee engagement. The next five years are going to see a tremendous shift for healthcare providers. Now, I've spoken about this on my show, Red Hot Healthcare, with my CEO and senior leader guests, and it's very clear that moving forward, there's going to be a much bigger push into lowering pricing, patients who are going to come out of the gate expecting higher quality of care and better experience. And we're going to see shortages of nurses and physicians continue, plus more mergers and acquisitions. And probably most important of all, we're going to see a coming to Jesus moment from healthcare consumers. Greater technology, greater transparency are going to give them an unprecedented leverage on choice. So health systems, hospitals, you'd better be focusing on the health of your organization's culture because the days of patients lining up at your doors, the days of employees lining up waiting to get employed, those are going to start eroding. Remember, in the long run, people don't leave companies. People leave work cultures. So culture isn't just a human resource challenge, it's everyone's challenge. When we get into physician autonomy, nurse-on-nurse -nurse bullying, or even the stress we're seeing today from the business centers down to the doctors, guess what? The flashlights are shining into the darkest shadows, and today's market isn't going to let that go unchecked. Take steps to go beyond mere policy and mission statements. Remember, incivility is not quite as severe as harassment or discrimination, but it's far more common and it's a predecessor. Visit walktheridge.org. We are a growing movement and learning organization for improving civility and inclusion. And we step in to analyze and find holes that really help your people grow better, really improving the habits of civility and engagement, and then making that sustainable behavior that they can even bring outside the office. That's my few minutes for today. Now go take on your day.